Good evening. My name is Jason Patterson, and in this discussion post for historical scholarships, uh, I found three articles under the particular um, requirements of this. The first was the Oxford uh, database, the Pro Muse, and I also found one that was it was issues and controversies in history. The first one I want to talk about is the Oxford account, and this was two troubled souls in the 18th century couple spiritual journey in the Atlantic world. And this centers around uh, missionaries, Jean-Francois Rainier and Marie Belle uh, Noel. Now, this is firsthand accounts of day-to-day -day life in the Atlantic world, which included 13 calls, which, of course, will include Georgia. Day-to-day um, -day events, day-to-day -day lives, things that went on uh, that these two missionaries um, experienced. This was not from... Uh, just a third person point of view that was just giving information, just was just telling what was going on. This article actually showed the lives and the struggles and the ups and downs of these two particular missionaries who were in times back then. Uh, it gives an insight and it showed the lens that you could see the uh, struggles and everything that was going on in those times. Interesting thing about this article is, is that these missionaries went to um, the Jews, they went to the Native Americans, they went to the African slaves, and they showed how the relationship could be. They showed about how things were going on and really just shows the readers a different insight of how it is to live during that time. Second article I found was in Project Muse, and this one was a really good one in my opinion. It was the publications of James Oglethorpe, um, it was all his publications of the times before, during, and after his adventure of the founding of the colony of Georgia. There was many um, particular writings in this particular book. Some that I found interesting was a duel explained. And if you ever go to Savannah, you'll understand that there is a dueling court and right next to it is a cemetery. Uh, it talks about that. It talks about the fleet prison, talking about how bad the prisons were. That was before the colony was established. Other writings of his uh, was the appeal for the colony of Georgia, his actual appeal that he made to King George II for the establishment of the colony of Georgia. And also he showed about how he was going to select the tracks around the Savannah River, how he was going to deal with the Indians and everything. One particular thing that really stood out about me was a uh, particular writing that he did in 1752, which was called The Naked Truth. And he told exactly, pinpoint, word for word, how he felt about the malcontents and about how much trouble they gave him because they didn't have slavery, they didn't have liquor, and they couldn't sell the lands. Finally, again, on the issues of controversy in history, the database that I found on there was a very interesting letter from a lady by the name of uh, Kucha Panaski, I believe that's the way he pronounced it. Um, her British or white name was Mary Musgrove. Mary Musgrove was the interpreter for James Oglethorpe between her and Tomachichi, which was the Yamacraw Indian chief of the land at the time when Georgia was established. And this article gives insight to as well. It shows some firsthand experiences. And it also gives James Oglethorpe advice about how he should continue to deal with with the Indians on a peaceful level, which is something that James Oglethorpe really, really, really wanted to do. I will definitely use these three articles in my dissertation and writing this paper. Thank you. Have a good evening.